Jess does most of its work in the RGB color space, but sometimes it's actually useful to work in a color space like uh, HSV. You know, some people call it HSV, hue saturation value, or hue saturation brightness. Uh, the the main advantage of this uh, HSV color space is we can get continuous colors uh, in the same sort of way you get uh, the color continuation in the electromagnetic spectrum or in the in the in, in vis visible light. So uh, let's take a look at how we can do this in JESS. Now in in Python there is a library called ColorSys or a module called ColorSys. And you can go to docs.python.org and um, have a look at it or just google color sys and you get to this page so there are a few different color space conversion options or uh, functions um, and we are interested in looking at how to use this particular one um, converting um, hsv to rgb so uh, so that we can use the um, rgb colors of uh, a HSV uh, uh, image or uh, a synthesis uh, in a normal chess um, image. So let's see how we can do this. So I want to create a function. I'm going to call it uh, HSV uh, spectrum or show spectrum. Come up with a name. I'm just winging it right now. Um, you should just choose any name that's suitable. So uh, I am going to create some variables because it's always a good practice. So width, height. Now there's really no relationship between this number 360 and what we're going to do, but um, we can have it at anything. But uh, it might be easy for some people to follow what's going on if you think in terms of 360. And I will tell you the significance of that number in a moment. All right. So now what I want to do is. I want to create an empty canvas. So for this one, uh, we can't open up an existing picture because we are synthesizing a new image. So I will say make empty picture and I want to create this based on the width and the height here. Uh, maybe we'll look into making this a little bit more general later on. So uh, we create the canvas and let's just display the canvas to make sure that it's working fine. So it's always a good practice to make sure that things are working fine. And then the next thing you want to do is have, um, I, I want to create the color spectrum. So before doing anything to do with the HSV, I'm going to create a loop. Um, and I'm going to have this loop go through the X range of values. So starting from 0 up until width minus 1. So for that, I will say for X in range 0 to width. Now, uh, the last value that this loop will get to or the last value of x will be with minus 1. We can actually see what goes on if we just print it like that. So you can see uh, it started from 0, you can't see the 0 here, but it started from 0 and ended up at 359. And let's try to, if you put a comma you will get all the values uh, one after another. So it's a little bit easier to see. So there you go, when we ran it, it started from 0 and went like that. All right, so uh, that's what you have to keep in mind when you're using the range function. It um, doesn't get to this one, it stops one before, and that's perfectly fine. We can, uh, we can work with that very easily and nicely. So the next thing I want to do is I want to um, draw some things on this canvas. So uh, what I want to do is I want to add vertical lines. So I will say add line, which is a built-in function in JS. So if you go on the JS functions and uh, pictures, you get a whole bunch of add functions. Uh, this one is add line, which is described over there. And um, as we can see from the status bars um, history or the uh, explanation, it takes a picture, start x, start y, end x, end y, and optionally a color. So the picture that we are dealing with is canvas. Uh, the start x location is the loop variables x location. The, the start y is 0 because we are going to start drawing that uh, from the top and we are going to draw a vertical line. So the x value will not change at all. It's only the y value that will change. So uh, and the, the, uh, the last 
or the second y value is going to be the bottom most y value which is going to be height minus 1 so another situation where we are using uh, something less than the uh, the maximum value and this is also for the same reason I'm going to add uh, I'm just going to draw this in red just to show how it looks and I'm going to do another thing and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in the video but I'm going to put a repaint statement inside this loop itself so um, by doing that you can actually see the progression of the drawing but um, it's generally really fast uh, but if you manage to see that it looks um, it, it looks nice it goes from left to right so that's the right behavior we, we want get the loop to work and then the next thing we want to do is uh, think about okay how can we get this HSV color space or this um, spectrum uh, to show up nicely so we need to say import color sys um, that needs to be there and so that's where we're getting the uh, the function from and uh, now I need to create a hue value now the hue values that we supply um, to uh, the function that we're going to use they need to be between 0 and 1 so normally people think it's like a degree it has to be between 0 and 360 uh, but uh, the way this function is written uh, internally in the in the color sys module it's uh, going to take a value between 0 and 1 and it's a floating point value so you have enough um, enough uh, variation in there so the hue uh, is what we're going to create as the variable so the hue is going to be um, x now that's the loop variable and I'm going to divide it by uh, the width so now and I'm going to also make the width the float now I can make x a float or uh, both floats but either way we want one of them to be a float so that the answer will actually be a float because as you know if you divide an integer which x is already uh, by another integer like width you will get an answer that is uh, an integer and because x is always less than width uh, this is always going to result in zero if we don't make one of these a float. So that's the whole reason why we did this. So we can use x uh, or x's progress along the uh, the width of the image um, as the indicator of the hue. And this works out nicely because, as I said, it's between zero and one, and um, this one doesn't actually get straight up to one, but um, this is I'm going to keep it like this because it's straightforward so uh, the hue is that now the next thing is I want to get the red green and blue values for this hue so I will use color sys dot um, hsv underscore 2 rgb that's the function uh, from the module and I need to give the hue and the saturation and the value now the saturation is the maximum because I want things to be uh, heavily saturated in very uh, strong colors and the value is the brightness that also I want really bright so uh, these values are these values should also be between 0 and 1 and 1 is the maximum and if you when you call this uh, function like this it will return three things now this is where Python is a little bit different to uh, some of the other languages uh, most languages will only return one value and um, Python uh, to make our lives easier um, and spoil us uh, it uh, allows you to uh, get three return values so I'm going to say RGB those are my variables which will hold the the created RGB color values that correspond to uh, this HSV value all right so uh, now again the RGB values also will be between 0 and 1. That's not so useful because if we use them to draw uh, our lines, um, then uh, they're going to be extremely dark because, they, uh, because the normal colors that uh, Adline and Jess uses, uh, they, uh, they are between 0 and 255. So we need to uh, convert them or we need to uh, amplify them. So I'm going to say R equals R times 255 so uh, this will bring it 
or amplify things nicely. P e times 255. So I'm amplifying them in this step. And the next thing I want to do is um, new RGB color. I can say make color RGB. Right. So now that's the thing I am going to end up using in here instead of the red that we used earlier. So I'm going to save this and run it and there you go. So we get the nice uh, spectrum of the, the visible light spectrum like um, sequence. So you can't get that with the RGB color. Uh, if you just go through the red, green and blue values, you can't get through that. Uh, trust me, I have tried. Um, so another neat feature is now we can make this much larger, this width value, and it will still very nicely scale. So if you want it, if you want the spectrum thing to appear um, instantaneously, remove the retain statement uh, from the from the in the the body of the loop and put it outside, and it'll uh, do the thing or it'll do the processing a lot faster. So uh, that's the end of that demonstration.